Good morning. Uh, this devotion is for March 8th, and we're still on a um, series of devotions that are talking about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. And today we are in Matthew chapter 21. And Jesus speaks some very stern words to the religious leaders uh, who are around him. He says, Therefore I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to people who will produce its fruit. Well, that verse comes at the end of a parable where Jesus is telling the religious leaders that there was this landowner and he hired some tenants and he put the tenants in charge of his land and he then sent messengers, servants of his, to the land to see how things were going and how the fruit and how everything was what was going on and what happened was the 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 tenants of the land began to abuse beat even kill the envoys that the the, the landowner would send to the, to the to the land and so then he finally sends his son which is obviously a picture of Jesus and they reject him as well and they uh, kill him and so Jesus says, therefore I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to people who will produce its fruit. And so you've got to ask a question, what happens? What happens in the heart of people who are religious people, good people? I mean, the scribes, the Pharisees, the Sadducees would have been considered really religious. What happens in the heart of where all of a sudden the land is no longer the landowner, but it's yours. Somehow you convince yourself that it's your land and it's it's at your control and you you will you will fight against any threat and, and all of a sudden you will you will defend yourself and, and you will begin to even attack those who God sends to check on you and see how things are going because all of a sudden you've created something in your own image that is no longer what it originally was. I wonder if we, as the Christian church, aren't sometimes guilty of doing the same thing. As we redefine the Word of God, as we redefine what church is, as we redefine what Christianity is, as we tend to be uh, exclusive rather than inclusive, we tend to, we tend to push people out instead of, instead of bringing them in. This is a warning cry for all of us, I think, to, to re-look and remind ourselves that when it comes to our lives, we're simply the tenants and he's the landowner. And we need to heed his word, heed his message, and even heed his messengers. Well, I encourage you to read the devotion attached. I pray that this devotion is a blessing to you. Have a firmly rooted day.